What is up YouTube? I'm Ryan Napton and today I'm going to show you my favorite snowboard pants. I've had a lot of pants over the years and there's a universal things that I like and don't like about all of them. So I'm going to show you my favorite pants and the features I like and don't like. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, how are you guys doing? Are you getting preseason already or just dreaming for the season to start? I've been getting a couple days preseason and uh, a couple days a week and yeah, riding's feeling really good. So waiting for just more train to open so that I can just film and do my big turns. It's just the runs are too congested at this preseason time of year for me to really get out there and actually start taping anything yet. But uh, soon enough. So I've got a couple more weeks of work and then I'll be shredding full time for a little while. But yeah, let's get to these pants. So I get the I get the Burton cargo pants and I get them in a double X tall. I'm five foot ten and uh, weigh about 215 pounds so they are way big around my waist um, but and they lo look ridiculously long when I just hold them up but when snowboarding in them they have the right look and feel to me I'm kinda from the fat pants fat stance era of snowboarding and that kinda just still looks right to me versus the yoga pants that some kids are wearing these days and I got nothing against it this is all personal preferences so uh, but yeah, I'll show you why I like the baggy style and uh, stuff but uh, yeah Let's check them out. Alright, like I said, double XL and the tall version of them. I mean, that just looks ridiculous. If you were in a snowboard shop, you probably would never buy, or a ski shop, you'd probably never buy pants that big. But so often I see uh, people who like put on snowboard pants and ski pants in the shops and they probably seem to fit fine, but once you got some underlayers on and uh, pers uh, personal preference here again, I like putting the bottom of, bottoms of my pants over my bindings. So once you're kind of doing that, have un under gear and wanting a baggy fit, then uh, this is what works for me. But yeah, often you see people in way too tight of gear, but maybe that's just personal preference too. Or I know, I know that's kind of the thing, tight pants or yoga pants or jeans or whatever, but that ain't my style. But uh, um, yeah, I mean they look ridiculously big. I get it, but that's basically you know, these are this size is basically in all of my videos. So um, if that looks normal to you, maybe you want to go pretty big too. But the features now features um, baggy pants. The this relaxed fit of the Burton cargo pants is really what I dig because one when I'm bending my knees like it doesn't like catch and stuff. If you're wearing tight jeans, you know you you feel your knees if you're doing certain motions on your snowboard plus I carry a lot of stuff so that's why these cargo po pockets and cargo pockets and big cargo pockets on both sides so one cargo pocket two cargo pockets and this third smaller one here for credit cards wallets and whatever and uh, they also have back pockets which I love because uh, Back pockets, I mean, a lot of ski and snowboard pants, they don't have back pockets and they look just like ski pants to me. They look kind of goofy and off. And I can see why you might not want back pockets. You don't want to be putting a George Costanza fat wallet in your back pocket and be sitting on it all day or falling on it, worse yet. But uh, for me, I usually just shove some extra cash in there. But nonetheless, it more just looks right having pockets on the back of pants. Um, but yeah, so. Basically, whenever I'm out there taping, uh, so preseason I don't carry anything with me, but uh, during the regular part of the year, I always basically always have this little camera. I'm upgrading this year, so I'll have something different, and a GoPro uh, with a Sennheiser mic, and uh, usually a selfie stick. I couldn't find it, but yeah, selfie stick. This isn't going to fit in my pocket, in any of these pockets, but uh, um, yeah, I carry a lot of junk with me when I'm snowboarding and just having that extra huge size pants with extra big cargo pockets where I can still like have full, a full range of motion, full flexibility and it not uh, prohibiting what I'm doing with my knees. It's really good and uh, the uh, Burton's got the pet pockets pretty figured out uh, right on the side where some I've, I've had previous pants with extra pockets on the front or whatever and sometimes when you're snowboarding you, know, you, you end up getting you end up hitting sliding there or any stuff and it's just not very good so these Burton cargo pants they are a good 
solid pant. Um, my only thing that I actually don't care for them in the last handful of years is the material they use. They used to use a material that this, uh, say on a powder day, when powder would hit it, it would just like literally just not stick to it at all. The last handful of years, the snow kind of just sticks to it a bunch and these feel like that same material. So that's kind of unfortunate, but nonetheless, um, without going into all the specs of living lining, whatever the hell that means and whatever other junk, uh, these ones fit really good. Awesome cargo pockets for carrying a ton of junk on. And like I said, it's a personal preference how you like your gear to look on you. But for me, I'm still kind of in that era mentally of fat pants and uh, it just looks cooler to me. And none of y'all want to see me in yoga pants snowboarding. Oh, who am I kidding? Some of you guys do. <laughs> okay, but back to it. Uh, these pants rock, so any color. You know, I, I always wear black. I feel kind of goofy if I'm wearing a bright colored pants. I've tried it before for uh, for the vi these videos, just because the video the colors pop really nice in videos. Where black it just doesn't. But uh, I feel kind of goofy when I'm wearing red or bright bright blue pants. Like the jackets, I can mix up colors and still feel good in. But uh, when I'm wearing different than black or a dark gray or something for pants, then uh, it just kind of seems off to me. But uh, yeah, those are my favorite snowboard pants. Those are the reasons I like them. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you're getting it in this preseason. And happy shredding, and thank you for watching. Oh, yeah, and I almost forgot. So, uh, one thing that I always do to my snowboard pants, and my girlfriend cringes and hates when I do this, but uh, basically, I despise this little powder lining. I'm not recommending you do this, but this is my own personal preference. On the powder lining, I like, like I said, I put my pants over my high backs, so I like them just to sit easily over and not have to struggle with this thing. Um, I mean, sometimes snow comes up my leg, but whatever. The downfall for this is, yeah, I struggle getting it over the high back sometimes, and worse yet, is this stupid little hook right here. I hate this thing. Uh, it's always like, works its way down towards the top of my, into the top of my boot, and then I make a turn, and it just stabs my shin, or ankle or wherever it's sitting against. I hate this thing. So this whole powder thing, I cut off right be, right above the seam and give no shits about it. And now, the pants do what I want them to do. And I kind of feel that way with all my snowboard gear. I do some weird modifications because I want the snowboard gear to do what I want it to do rather than maybe how it was designed to do. So, I'm not suggesting you cut those stupid things off, but uh, for me, that is essential. And now these pants are ready to rock. Hey, thanks for watching again. Happy shredding, and kapla!